Today on the show, we are looking at the impact the ICT agencies have made in the past two years or more, if you like. But first, we are beginning with NIDA. Created April 2001 to implement Nigeria's information technology policy and coordinate general IT development in the country, NIDA Act came to be in 2007. 2017 marks 10 years after its passage. The mandate of NIDA remains to create a framework for the planning, research, development, standardization, application, coordination, monetary evaluation, and regulation of information technology policy. As Nigeria marks a decade of the passage of NIDA Act, experts and stakeholders X-ray how much NIDA has fared in its objective to deliver on the core mandate as provided in the Act. The regulation of the telecoms industry has remained an argument whether or not it is overregulated as a subject of discussion amongst stakeholders. Domestication of foreign technologies and promotion of local content is key to Nigeria's economic recovery. How much has NOTA fared? This is the core of our conversation today on Digivision Network, Africa's leading business and ICT. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, man. Um, we've heard with the issues, and first we should just take a look at uh, how much the ICT agencies, including the ministry, the supervising ministry, has fared uh, in the past, you know, uh, ten years before we come to uh, need that act, you know, that which, uh, which is ten years in this uh, this year. But first, we have a new government. Two years of this new government, how much has ICT fared? Uh, let me start with uh, Mr. Biodun, the chief. Thank you. Um, when you look within the context of the global economy and how the ICT space has fared, then you might likely want to begin to see a downward trend in terms of uh, achievement, attainment uh, of the goals that should have been reached within these certain parameters. Um, let's look at telecoms in the specifics. The number of issues that have been raised within that space that tells you that things are not really moving in the direction of growth. Uh, if you ask me, uh, the, the numbers are not growing, which means we are reaching s some level of saturation within the voice space, and that's why the revenue has dipped substantially within the time frame that we are looking at. Is bios analysis something you can agree with in totality? Well, I want to agree with him. The question you ask is whether there has been a development, mm -hmm. an increase yes. in activity. Is there a scaling up mm -hmm. from uh, what was before this administration came on? Mm -hmm. I look at it from um, uh, these perspectives. Mm -hmm. Before this administration, we were talking about moving up from voice to data. And that is why the broadband initiatives mm -hmm. were put in there to to uh, step up uh, the provision of uh, broadband activities uh, to to begin to grow the data space. Has that has, grown now? No, it hasn't. Why? W w what I mean, it has not grown, yeah. is because there are no coordinated efforts. The infra codes that were set up, for instance, mm -hmm. the licenses, I don't see much activity going on in that space. Uh, before now, uh, we're looking forward to do a set. Where do you put that blame? You know, the doorstep of the regulator, the ministry, or the the the, the, the I mean, the operators. The regulation, the regulator that is not holding the the operators to the mandates, to the obligations. I doubt set. if Doctor Ekwem will agree with you. Uh, what would be your take, Doctor? Um, you have to look at the whole telecom space or the ICT space. Mm -hmm. When you look at it in a holistic way. Then you know that if you want to cast, put, put blame, blame has to start from government. Mm -hmm. Government here, I mean, the presidency, 
the federal level, the state governments and the local governments. Then come to the regulator, the NCC, and NICDA. Even the Galaxy Backbone and NICOMSAT, they have a, they have a, a part to play in, the, in this issue. Then the industry associations, you know, of ATCON, NCS, uh, uh, NIG, Alton, Eastbound, name them. The industry of vocal associations have a role to play in this matter. And, and and then the Nigerian consumer, the Nigerian ICT user. That takes us to NIDA. Yes. N the NIDA Act was developed, you know, uh, ten years ago. From two thousand and seven two thousand and seven till date. That means a decade of it. Let me ask um Mr. Andama, would you say that NIDA ten years on has been able to play this role, you know, implement this role in in a way that can Nigeria IT industry or the Nigeria creative industry, you know, can begin to say, yeah, we can have things that can replace the forest software that we have. Thank you. Um, the when it comes to NIDA and I'm one of those that shy away from uh, should I say throwing stones mm -hmm. at government agencies uh, purely based on perceived um, non-performance or limitation. Uh, with NIDA particular, there's a new uh, DG who have been privileged to attend uh, one or two of his uh, earlier presentations mm -hmm. on the plans. And I recall very well, uh, which I'm sure is probably out there somewhere in the public domain, he himself saying that NIDA has fallen short of what it ought to be. So there seems to be a realization from even within mm. that uh, NIDA need to be restructured and, you know, for better performance. Mm. So I wouldn't want to belabor that mm. because, as I said, if somebody is already saying, hey, I need to reorganize myself, you don't want to be the one uh, pushing it. Let them come up with new policies mm. and procedures. Can there be a policy that will say, Unless you buy, buy a Nigeria uh, uh, pro product, or uh, if you have a Nigeria product that can do the same, you know, uh, what this forest software can do, you must buy the Nigeria product. Can there be a policy like that? Uh, I'm, I'm asking. Uh, yeah. First, let me throw this in. Um, just like uh, Namani said, NIDA was slightly anonymous in the last 10 years. And uh, if you also play by what mm. its current DJ also had publicly uh, put out, that neither was known likely for contract awarding. So its core mandate of monitoring, evaluating, research, and all of that, that will culminate in making that Nigerian brand mm. acceptable to the Nigerian populace was missing. Uh, India has become the number one software producer today. Not because it started from outside. It started from within. Creating values which was adopted by the indigenous people of India. And when it became popularized within the Indian space, it started receiving you know, patronage from outside. And that is where this current government has come up with a policy which I think is uh, very strong in marketing the question you ask. I've seen situations where uh, some innovators, young innovators, they come to this office to say, you, you tell them what NIDA is doing, tell them what NCC is doing, and all of that. They, they tell you they don't know. They don't know if there's any agency there to actually help them, to protect them. So if you do not know them, uh, and uh, these people don't know that you are there to protect them and all of that. May we ask uh, Mr. Aaron now, how much of uh, NIDA activities in the past six months do you know? First of all, I am not aware of any, apart from the DJ. I heard the DJ often. Mm -hmm. The last I heard is how he's sort of reorganizing management and staff, uh, first of all. Um, I'm not aware how he has reached out to the outside public, mm -hmm. the key um, uh, uh, partners mm. that are supposed to help him to drive mm. his vision. He has itemized seven point agenda, one of them which is local com uh, uh, content development and promotion and ensuring that look, not much money goes out of this country. Mm. And uh, yes, just it's, it's been saying that, but I've not seen 
uh, an activity activity going on. We are winding down on the program, and I think the next question now, and the only question is, what is the way forward? Uh, let me ask from Mr. Namani. Um, thank you. Um, I think the way forward, uh, as we've all conversed, is one, the uh, various uh, government institutions, uh, whether the ministry, NIDA, NCC, should look at the policy that they've been implementing in the past and figure out the fact that it has not yielded all the results. So, Dr. Wittig. Uh, thank you, uh, yeah. uh, Namani. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, one. Nigerian Content Development Index for all the states of the Federation and the federal government. To what extent each, each of the states developing uh, content and how they patronizing it. Two, Nigerian Content Use Index. Three, a genuinely made or developed in Nigeria event. Let me explain what I mean by that within the ICT center. Like what Namani said, uh, nobody can say you have it when they have not told anyone that you have it. So let's have a Nigerian show, a Nigerian, a genuine Nigerian ICT show. Let us know what it, an inventory of what each Nigerian entrepreneur within the ICT or digital space can produce. So let's hear from uh, you, well, uh, Aaron. You know, I, we, 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 I mean, much has been spoken about local content, using local content in ICT to get Nigeria out of recession. So in, in, let's hear from you in as we round off. Yeah, in, in uh, added to this local content, I remember the advocacy groups, IT advocacy, advocacy groups were also talking about the need for uh -huh. knowledge acquisition, uh -huh. skill acquisition, the knowledge economy. Um, we need to grow the knowledge base, uh, ability to use the brain to, to, to uh, generate mm. uh, income to the country. So you add to the local content is the issue of the knowledge base, uh, 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 increasing the ICD skills of our young one, young ones. If you remember, the previous uh, minister tried to do certain mm. uh, certain programs that were on ground. I'm also aware that some of these private people then also set up certain incubation centers, trying to encourage we can we can be serious in such centers and ensure that our young ones are properly trained, uh, given the requisite uh, uh, skills to to be able to tap on. Uh, what the, the brain can can give to us. Okay, last but not the least, uh, Bio, let's hear from you. Thank you. Um, um, I, I want to say Nigeria is still very low on research and development in terms of um, funding. And with, without a, a requisite funding for R&D, then we, don't, we have not started and we may not grow. Okay, gentlemen, I thank you very much for coming on the show.